Here is a scene straight from one of my previous years why was. A student comes in and uh, uh, sits down. Then I asked him, uh, tell me, what should I ask you? What have you prepared? The student with a smiling face says, sir, ask me anything. Uh, anything, sir. Kuch bhi poocho. So, whenever a student says this, uh, kuch bhi poocho, ask me anything, uh, it means one of the two things. Either the student is saying that uh, I am extremely well prepared. You ask me anything I am going to answer. Or <laughs> the other extreme is you ask me anything. It's going to be useless. It, it is going to be pointless because I don't know anything. So, kuch bhi poocho has one of the two meanings. So, uh, I started asking what is cardiac cycle? Sorry, sir. I don't know. Smiling face. huh? What is cardiac output? I don't know, sir. Smiling face. Again, all this while he had kept a very smiling face. Probably some senior must have advised him uh, that uh, during the exams, practical exams, viva, always keep a smiling face. It creates a good impression. Boss, the impression is created by uh, your answers and not just by the smiling face. Anyways, the viva kept on degenerating and degenerating. Finally, I asked him, oh, I'm, I was a little frustrated. So, I asked, uh, uh, so uh, how many hearts in a human body? He said, uh, sir, one. Oh, great. So, then the next question was, how many chambers in a human heart? Wait, 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 wait. I know this, sir. I know this, sir. Four. No, three. No, four, 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 four. This is how it was. Uh, this is how the answers were given. Finally, with a lot of frustration, I asked, uh, okay, last question. Uh, tell me what is mitochondria? Now, he's a 12th year, uh, 12th bio student coming into medicine. So, I thought this question may be answered. He said, wait, 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 sir. I know this, sir. I know this. Uh, it is somewhere in the lower limb. I was in a state of shock. I said, hey, Prabhu, hey, Hariram. Anyways, um, I, uh, technically he was right because if mitochondria is in every cell of the body then it's also there in the lower limb cells anyways but jokes apart uh, today's video is on viva preparation how and whether you should prepare for the vivas separately that's the topic for this video and particularly i'm talking about viva vochi this uh, grand viva or Viva Voci, uh, this term Viva Voci is this is how it is pronounced, but uh, in uh, Indian subcontinent it is all, uh, always called as Viva Voci. Anyways, uh, it's a, a Latin word, medieval Latin uh, word. I mean, origins are there. So, how to whether to prepare for the Viva separately and how to prepare for it? That's the uh, topic for today's video. Uh, First thing, do you have to prepare for the viva separately? And why do you have to prepare for the vivas separately? Let's answer these two questions. Uh, proportion of the viva based uh, questions is less. In the first year exams, viva based, uh, I mean viva or grand viva does not have that great a proportion, uh, 10 to or 20 marks at the most. If you remember, uh, we had uh, done a video on uh, clinical examination in the practicals. Clinical examination forms the major bulk of the answers, a uh, bulk of the marks, I mean to say. And therefore, that's the most important part. Viva, grand viva, hardly 10 to 20 marks. So, uh, in the in terms of marks, it does not have that great a proportion. But you know, those 20 marks are divided into four different examiners, five, 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 five marks. And therefore, it becomes a little difficult proposition. So yes, my first suggestion is, as you begin your journey in the medical college, from the first or second month, you should also start preparing for the vivas separately. Look, so far, till 12th standard, you were very good at writing the theory answers. You knew the matter, subject matter, and you could reproduce it while writing. But now, some of those answers will have to be given spontaneously, face to face, instantly in the vivas. And therefore, this is completely new type of examination for you. And my advice is therefore, start preparing for the vivas also. It is going to be a different type of preparation. 
आई हैव ऑलवेज थॉट ओवर दिस वेन वी कंडक्ट योर थियोरी एग्जाम वी आस्क यू ऑल टाइप्स ऑफ क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम एवरी नूक एंड कॉर्नर ऑफ द बुक एंड यू हैव रिटर्न द थियोरी एग्जाम एंड आंसर दो क्वेश्चन देन वॉट इज द पर्पज ऑफ कीपिंग ए वाइवा बेस्ड एग्जाम दैट टू जस्ट टेन और ट्वेंटी मार्क्स ए वेरी स्मॉल टाइप ऑफ एग्जाम ऑन द सेम क्वेश्चन ऑन द सेम टेक्स्ट और सेम सिलेबस वॉट इज द पर्पज ऑफ दिस देन आई रियलाइज दैट दिस सर्व अनदर पर्पज it uh, starts developing your communication skills you know uh, communication is seen as a soft skill in your medical career you will have to develop a communication skill you know uh, the theory very well you have the knowledge you can express that i have seen this very often that a student outstanding brilliant student whenever there is theory exam he is writing for all the 3 hours he is writing taka 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 very well okay but the same student when he comes for the viva stony dull i mean just can't express i have seen such students so therefore development of communicative communication skills uh, is an important part of your journey you will have to communicate your knowledge verbally also in your own expressions in your own words in your own language you will have to communicate your knowledge to the patient to the family members of the patient to the society in general you will be appearing for cmes uh, or conducting seminars there you will have to give speeches you will make presentations everywhere you will require this communication skill and the development of that communication skill begins from the first year in the form of preparation of these vivas i have seen this that uh, many people do not have in their personality to give back answers you know back answer in the sense that question is asked and instantly you are replying back and i include myself in that when i was in first year even i was a very shy and timid person i could not answer immediately instantly face to face it uh, sometimes it is due to the upbringing that uh, we are humble people and therefore we just uh, uh, just don't re back reply instantly like that but we will have to develop eventually the skill to answer instantly express your knowledge not only in the theory paper but also verbally and that is where that is what is beginning with the first year viva based exams so let's see uh, what are the types of viva there are two types of course one is table viva uh, you must have gone through the table viva till your 12th standard there is a small experiment and the questions are pertaining to that particular experiment that's an easy part because there is a limit uh, limited number of questions which are asked so you can answer those questions but then the other part is viva voce and as i said this is the very difficult part uh mainly because of the fact that there will be four examiners you will be facing five five marks each and uh each examiner has a different style of asking some people have low voice low tone they ask questions and you are not even understanding what is asking these all things happen and therefore you will have to have a great preparation for all such eventualities with confidence you will have to answer the questions and develop that confidence uh with your slowly and uh, surely imbibing the knowledge through the textbooks and expressing it in your own words i have seen during the vivas during the exams many students have the habit of asking a student who is just returning from the viva they go on asking hey, hey what is what is the examiner asking what is he asking what questions and they try to prepare those answers then and there that's a bad idea actually and it's of no use because examiners are very smart people they can immediately differentiate between a student who has prepared the answer just 5 minutes ago and a student who has been reading throughout the year and great and strong conceptual understanding of the subject so anyways it's of no use but uh, you can show the street smartness that is if your vivas and exams are tomorrow practical exams then today some batch must have finished their exam enquire with them 
how was the exam what was the pattern what was kept in the practicals what uh, what questions were being asked by each examiner ask them and then you can prepare on the previous day no harm in that this is called that street smart as a street smartness so in addition to your intelligence and brilliance you will also have to develop this kind of a street smartness this kind of a preparation uh, this question needs to be answered do we have to buy the books separately for the vivas there are books available in the market do we have to purchase those books and prepare from those books uh, i would say it's not mandatory it's not compulsory it's not necessary that you uh, purchase those books and prepare from them those books may be even available in your college library so once in a while you can read those books and prepare from uh, for the vivas that's okay uh, separately preparing from the books may be uh, may, may not be necessary if your concepts are stronger from the day one okay uh, concepts finally you will sail through on the basis of strong concepts only i'm i'm talking uh, specifically about the vivas there the examiners will be also uh, judging whether you have good conceptual understanding so instead of buying from the buying uh, separately the viva books uh, slowly you will learn this art you will have small exams in the college uh, periodicals so during the periodicals you will face these vivas slowly you will learn how the questions are framed for the vivas what type of questions are asked and then while you read the textbook you read a paragraph and you will understand this paragraph is viva oriented straight away you can mark it there viva so this can be asked in the viva this is how you can prepare then in that case no need to uh, purchase a separate book for viva preparation all right uh, there are various methods for the viva preparation how you prepare from the first month mirror you can stand in front of the mirror and uh, narrate some of the answers to the mirror or there can be this method where you make a group of two people uh, you and your friend you will ask question and he or she answers then he or she ask the question and you answer this is a very good method this is a very good method for viva preparation record the answers that's the best according to me uh, you have learned a topic then express that topic in your own language your own phraseology and phraseology and uh, your own expressions and then keep on listening to that again and again i want you to create a verbal resonance of your answers for the viva preparation you have prepared the answers and you can write it in the theory taka 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 i have seen this excellent theory writing but verbal expression not so good so for the verbal expression the verbal resonance of those words and those phrases will have to be created in your mind and for that this is a very good method record the answers in your own language your own words and by language means i mean expression as well as a vernacular language other than uh, english so that's also acceptable uh, examiner is always judging how you express your knowledge ultimately as doctors when you go into the society you will have to express your knowledge to the society in general in your own expressions so this is how it all begins uh one more tip it is always the case that theory exams are conducted first and then uh after a few days there will be practical exam and viva so you get time to prepare those theory questions also the questions which were asked in the theory exam because uh you know for the final exam when external examiners they arrive in our college there there's going to be four or five days of examination first thing that they ask for is the theory paper of that university and they ask their viva questions based on the on the theory paper theory questions so you have to prepare those theory questions extremely well most of the questions in the viva will come from that and mind you 
you might have omitted some questions during the theory exam uh, as option prepare those questions also okay answers to those questions also it will create a very bad impression if examiner is asking you something from the theory paper and uh, you say uh, I don't know. I have not prepared. The examiner says, but this was asked in your theory uh, uh, exam. And you say, no, sir, I didn't attempt that question. Okay, you didn't attempt, but you could have prepared it. You had a few days for preparation of VIVA. So remember, prepare all those questions for VIVA. And slowly, you are going to learn what is a typical VIVA. So it all starts always with some kind of a definition. Define cardiac output. You will define it. Then uh, the next question will be, what is the value? What is the normal value? So let's say 5 liters per minute. Similar questions are asked in the viva. Define tidal volume. What is the normal value? Define dead space. What is the normal value? Define GFR. What is the normal value? So slowly, as you appear for the college vivas, you will realize how to prepare for these vivas. In fact, I would suggest uh, you to go to the college examiners and uh, not examiners, I would say college teachers, professors and request them, conduct a five minute VIVA. Try to uh, prepare that topic and give VIVA on that particular topic. See how you fare in this, uh, in that, those particular VIVAs. Gradually, you will see an improvement in yourself. So remember, eventually, this is a, a soft communication skill that you are, soft skill that you are developing in the form of communication. You are going to require it uh, throughout your life and it starts all over here from the first year viva based examinations so uh, prepare for the vivas and in the next video i will be also talking about the uh, other preparations for the exams